Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the anticipated new Hourglass palette release. I'm so excited, you guys. I ended up going on the Hourglass website and I ordered it, did the fastest shipping possible to the border, and then Sephora released it the next day. <laughs> So anyways, I couldn't have possibly anticipated that, but I was able to get it really, really quickly for you guys so you guys know if it's actually worth your money or not. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Jenna Fraze. On my channel, we chat all about high-end and luxury makeup because that is what we are obsessed with. So if you're like us and you want to join in on the high-end party, then I would love for you to consider subscribing to my channel so you never miss a new video that I put out. And without further ado, let's get on to the new Hourglass Ambient Unlocked Palette Review. First of all, let's talk about the packaging. It is absolutely stunning in my opinion. I do love how it's consistent with the rest of the Hourglass line. Very elegant, gold, reflective, metallic. When you open it up, you will see a mirror in the lid, which is perfect. It is nice and large. Then you will see these six pans of product themselves. This palette is available right now at Sephora as well as Hourglass's website. It is 80 American dollars or 95 Canadian dollars. I do believe that Hourglass has always been a cruelty-free brand. Let me know down below if that is incorrect, but I'm pretty sure that they've always been cruelty-free. However, the Ambient Unlocked palette here is their first vegan palette, so that is amazing. When you open it up to see all of the shades, it does come with quite a bit for your money. The first shade is a finishing powder. This is called Soft Light. The second one is a finishing powder as well. This is called Filtered Light. Then we have the bronzer in golden bronze light. The fourth shade is a blush in nude glow. The fifth shade is another blush in mood flush. And the sixth shade is a metallic strobe powder in champagne strobe light. As I was applying all of the powders, you guys, the finishing powders to me actually worked just as well as my other hourglass palettes that I have purchased in the past. The two that I have here in front of me are both the ambient lighting edits. So this one is volume three and this one is the Ambient Lighting Edit Surreal Light. So this might be before this one or after this one, I can't remember, but either way, this one comes with a finishing powder as well. And this one also comes with a finishing powder in this one too. So I'm gonna be blinding you probably throughout because the packaging of this is crazy reflective. So I do apologize, but these finishing powders in here are very similar in quality, even though this is a vegan palette. So the formula is going to be different than these. So this one is really, really stunning as well. This is an older edition. This is an ambient lighting edit number three, no longer available, but I just wanted to show it as a comparison because this one works just as well as the new formula in the unlocked palette. The bronzer in this one as well, very, very nice. I do love how it has that golden undertone with a little bit of shimmer. Again, done very elegantly in my opinion. It's certainly not going to be chunky glitter on your skin. This one will just reflect light ever so well. Next, I want to talk about the two Two blushes. I've briefly touched on them already, but the two blushes are super, super nice. So as I said, we do have the peachy goldy one kind of on the edge here. This one has a shimmer again, done very, very well, not chunky glitter specs at all. This is very nice and diffused. So it's going to give that really beautiful like sheen to the cheek, to the blush. Like it just gives that glowy kind of look. Next we have the second blush here, which is the matte dusty rose. And this is going to have more of a pigment payoff versus the other blush. The other blush is much more sheer and glowy and this one is a little bit more of a pigment impact versus the glowiness, but it's still very flattering and very, very beautiful. I did use both of them today, very, very easy to apply. They blended out beautifully as well, just like the bronzer and the finishing powders. The last thing I wanna talk about is the highlight in the right corner. This one, again, a champagne beautiful gold. This does emphasize some texture on me, unfortunately. I do have a little bit of some bumps kinda of happening right at the top of my cheekbone here. Despite it showing some texture, it does actually get better when you set it with a setting spray. For whatever reason, it seems to melt into the skin just a little bit more so that the texture seems to wear away just a touch. But this one is definitely beautiful as well. I do think it complements the entire palette beautifully. The other major con of this palette is the sizes of the pans and the space between them as well. So unfortunately, when it comes to the palette and the powders, the highlight gave me the most kickback. When I was putting my brush into it, there really was a lot of powder kind of kicking back. The rest of them are 
aren't as bad, but I do think that this is not a palette that you're going to be able to use any brush with. So you do have to be a bit purposeful when it comes to which brush you're going to use, especially when it comes to the finishing powders, because I personally use a much wider, larger brush when I'm setting my face. And I did find that a lot of the brushes that I own are just simply too big. So you do have to be a little bit more purposeful getting smaller brushes to do more targeted work on the skin. And that's really the only downside. I do hope that they expand this Ambient Unlocked collection to include some single pans similar to this one here in the Luminous Light one that I have. The Luminous Light is a ambient lighting powder. It is a little bit different than this palette because an ambient lighting powder gives that brightening effect, whereas the finishing powders in here are just setting and finishing. So the ambient lighting powder, I'm gonna try to hold with my other hand here. As you can see, the size of this pan is monstrous. I do think if they're able to expand the unlocked palette and you know make singles in the same vegan cruelty-free formula, I do think that will really please a lot of people, especially the people that make this palette a deal breaker just because of its size. Overall, I think this is a beautiful addition to my collection. I would 100% recommend it for everybody if you are interested in purchasing it because I believe you won't be disappointed. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to let me know as well by giving it a big thumbs up, as well as don't forget to subscribe on your way out. I would love to see you guys back here. And until my next one, guys, take care. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. You and me, everything that we've been through has made us strong. You won't believe we've had our great, but sorry, there's a light inside of us. It shows the way.